Hey guys, it's Greg Jones for Engine Builder. Today we're at the National Tractor Pulling Championships in Bowling Green, Ohio. Joined by Adam Kester of Minor Brothers Racing Engines. Behind us is a 526 cubic inch Minor Brothers Racing Engine, and it's our Engine of the Week. Engine Builders Engine of the Week is sponsored by Pen Grade One, L Ring DOS Original, and NPW. Adam, thanks again. Uh, we're, we're here with another one of your customers here at the Tractor Pulling Championships, and uh, very similar engine to uh, what we just uh, featured with another customer, but obviously a different setup and different tractor. So tell us a little bit about this one. So this one here is the Fleming family's. Uh, High maintenance, and this is the M MBR MTS-1 engine, has the newer upgraded heads, built intake. This utilizes a DMP-1471 supercharger, and carbon fiber injector hat. So uh, this engine base makes around 3,000 horsepower with a roots blower on it, and uh, it's a good looking piece as we see. Yeah, that's awesome. And, and what particular class is this truck? This is in the two-wheel drive uh, truck class, so, um, you see all kinds of very different variations of body styles and whatnot, but most of them use this base type of engine in them. Very cool. Now, Adam, can you talk a little bit about some of the machine work that goes into a build like this, as well as some of the components that you'll be selecting? For sure. This particular one? So, yeah, when we come through in the development side, we like billet. Everything's billet. Um, billet manifold, we kind of had to change some things from previous designs, trying to get a little bit better airflow in those. Uh, the cylinder heads have a lot upgraded uh, intake port, and exhaust port, uh, a little bit more um, uh, for serviceability, O-ring on a lot of different surfaces. And then aesthetically, we just try to make the parts look really good, look good uh, as a machine finished here. As you can see, he chromed his valve covers so they look really good. Yeah, yeah, definitely. The chrome is always nice. Yes, it? it is. All right, so Adam, how about some of the, the brands of components that are in this particular engine? Sure, so in these, uh, we use either a Bryant or a Cowley's crankshaft, a GRP rod, CP pistons, Victory valves. We use um, pack springs and retainers, uh, Manton uh, push rods and adjusters, and uh, Cowley's camshafts or excuse me, bu bullet camshafts or Cali's camshafts. Okay. And uh, yeah, we just try to use the best in, in the market for our, our part selection. Yeah, absolutely. And then, forgive me, uh, what, what, kind of the, what kind of supercharger is up there? This, this is a DMP M5 supercharger. Okay. Um, it's built by uh, Darren Mayer Incorporated in, in Michigan. So it builds a really good piece. Yeah, very good. And then uh, you said the carbon fiber hat on top there. Um, how much boost does that whole setup uh, take? This this blower will produce probably about 48 pounds of boost at the overdrive they're running. Um, and you see with the injector hats, you'll see a lot of different variation in injector hats and different ideas on how to get better air into the into the supercharger. Um, they found that these work really well with these superchargers. Yeah. Now, Adam, I'm curious. You know, obviously the the last customer we were looking at has a four engine setup. Mm -hmm. You know. What, what are the differences uh, between what this one is and what that one is in terms of the drive line and just making it Right, work? so these things here, being that it's a single engine, maybe have to run it a little bit harder than the four engine setup just because they're working in unison and there is overwhelming of power. These things here, since it is a single engine, they have a high draw bar, a lot of front end weight. They really use this engine to the max. So um, they'll be a little bit closer on their setups with timing and fuel. To, to utilize the power that the engine makes. Yeah, yeah, very good. Adam, anything else that we're leaving out about this particular build or, or this particular uh, class of truck here? Uh, no, not really. I mean, these, uh, these guys do a really good job. They've been customers of mine for a long time. They represent our company really well. They have fantastic looking equipment, a great family to deal with. I uh, just yeah. am very happy to always be able to have good customers like these guys. Yeah, awesome. Well, Adam, again, we appreciate the time. Thanks for telling us about this 526 uh, MBR engine. Thank you, sir.
Guys, that's been another episode of Engine of the Week. Make sure you're checking out everything that Adam has going on at Mine and Brothers Racing Engines. And as always, make sure you're checking out EngineBuilderMag.com for more great engine content. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching today's video. Hey, while I've got you guys here, I wanted to tell you about Find a Builder. It's a new microsite on EngineBuilderMag.com that's great for both engine shops and for potential customers looking to get engine work done. If you're an engine builder, this site is a place where you guys can list your shop and what you guys do to potential customers through EngineBuilderMag.com. It's an easy subscription-based microsite that'll let you guys connect to a new audience. And if you're a potential customer looking to get engine work done, this is a source to help you guys find a shop that's in your area or one that specializes in the type of engine work that you're trying to get done. Make sure you guys are checking out Find a Builder on EngineBuilderMag.com. Thanks.